investigation. <laughs> but you Give can't. me a look. When Give I tell you to stop. Listen. Yes, I will. So I've just got some boiled water that's sterilised. Doing it herself. Lucky we got a first aid kit before we left. <laughs> like a proper one. And it was, I'd just be like, I just have toilet paper on it. Just be like, There's two more layers of gauze on there that I have to get off before I can dress it. You're just gonna rip it off? No, I'm not gonna rip it off. I'm gonna no, I'm not gonna rip it off. But I am trying to like bed it in the water, which it's already diluted, but it, I'm scared. What do you think this will hurt like? Saline won't hurt. Isn't saline salt water? Yeah, but it won't hurt as bad as what that other shit did last night. Tears in the eyes? No. No, not tears in the eyes, pain, just like frig. It's pretty tender though. Like you don't realise how how your fingertips like protect the ends of your you know when you cut your finger now too short? And then your fingertips are really sensitive? It's like that except I just chop the end of my finger off. Pretty much the whole finger. I should probably do it on the ow! Ow! <laughs> oh and I'm a sook too, I can't deal with injuries like this. Oh man, it's so tender. You wanna you also wanna not let your husband do it for you. So I've been soaking it for like ever and I can't get this like final layer of gauze off. It's got like little fibres in it and now it's like welded onto my nail bed. Three, two, oh one. Three, two, one, go. No, I'm not Seven, ready. Seven, six, five, four. I think you're gonna have to do it. No, 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 you can't do it. I can, but. Oh, it's all happening again. Exactly the same thing. <sighs> Holy moly. It's so bad. I need to elevate it again. Okay, I got the bad gauze off. Careful of um, the system here. You have to yeah, make sure. The system here is dodgy. So do everything. Do everything um, a week beforehand to just to be sure that you're going to get Everything's what you expect. Out. Uh, she's got the boiling, she's got the saucepan boiling. Yep. Got the water boiling. Hope I don't burn myself. Still, still got a finger. There. I really can't afford another injured finger. 
Oh man, they're just sticking to me. The flies. Oh, there's some sludge in there. So the internet says that you want to. It's pretty gross. What you want to do is dunk it. See how it curls? I'm pretty much Jamie Oliver. And then you want to dunk it again. And then you want to lift. Ow! <laughs> oh my god, that was boiling water, Dylan. That's not funny. Yeah, but I knew it was going to happen. Oh yeah, it's curling. It's curling. Dunk it again. Lift. And why are we doing this? We're dunking it because the internet said to. I think we're dunking it to get it used to the water. The heat? The heat. And then dunk. And then lift. It says to, I don't know how many times I do this, but uh, maybe one more time. And then dunk. All sorts of gooeys in there. I'm going to boil it for an hour. Get some of this goop out. Hopefully we don't poison our friends. We're going over to our friend's house. House. <laughs> Not their house. That's a house. Our friend's floating home for dinner. And they're making curry and... I'm going to pretend like I know what I'm doing and bring some octopus over. Alright, and what you want to do is pop that on and take a sip of your Captain Morgan's. Man, that burn is a bit sore. Um, and the objective is to make sure you burn yourself while you're cooking because it's not it's not a meal by Lauren if I don't, I don't know, burn myself. This is a burn from previously or if I don't cut my finger. I yeah. think she would have learned a lesson <laughs> It's not a meal by me if I don't injure myself. Bagus! So we just peel the skin off of the octopus and uh, Loz is just cooking her up. A garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, and a chili. Family spice. It's bloody good and it smells so good. Alongside the marina finger here in Madonna. I'm just getting some work done. Um, it's a whole lot cheaper uh, than in Darwin. So in Darwin we got a quote for $3,000 to get the boat polished. And that was that was the cheapest we could find there. Um, here it's $80. I'll introduce you to the boys that are doing it. Hello. Hello. Polishing the boat. Yeah. Good bintang? Yeah, Good. Terima kasih banyak. Sama sama. All the rails, handrails, and all the just all the stainless. It's getting polished. Getting cleaned up from um, the big passage from Darwin. So yeah, the rust builds up on it. It's just a bit of surface rust, so you just got to cut it back and. Maybe before we go, we'll put a layer of a protective coating on, um, like an oil-based coating, just to stop it from rusting while we're away. And then when we come back, we'll just wipe that off. It's also good to be plugged into shore power. We run the fans, charge the batteries, make some water. Very, very handy. Been a bit of a mission to get this polish job done, but um, it's going to be a three-day job, I think, for these guys. They try to do it by hand, but I want it done by the machine, and yeah, they're still at it, still going hard at it. Good on them. Um, while we've got the shore power, I'm going to try and make some water with the water maker, but before that, I'm going to service it. So the high pressure pump, I'm going to change the oil in the high pressure pump and then the cartridges for the filtration side of the um, system. The 10 and 5 micron filters, I'm going to change them as well. 
This is the water maker running when there's no generator on or engine. Usually I've got the generator and it's really loud in here. But it even sounds better after the oil change just then. Sounds a lot better. So I've got this little gizmo here, it's um, infrared gun. It's actually pretty flash. We'll um, read Lauren's temperature. 34 degrees, and I'd highly recommend buying one. Especially if you've got two engines in a catamaran, you can see which one's running hotter than the other very, very easily without having to use a thermometer or anything. But what I usually do, especially after an oil change like this, I'll take a photo of what it's running at. Save that onto the SD card. And then after, after say two months of use, I can see how how warm it's running compared to when it was first serviced. The same thing with the um, electric motor that powers this pump. Got that um, fan on now. It's just giving that some nice cool air from the top here. Um, and I'd usually take a reading from when I first start the water maker. And then at the end I'll see how how it's doing, what temperature it's sitting at, because we rely on this thing a lot, we need to take care of it, so. So my original temperature reading for the actual pump side, I've turned it off now, was 36 degrees Celsius. We'll have a look what it's sitting at now. So it is sitting at about 55 now. So after running it with that new oil, Got an extra 20 degrees Celsius. Electric motors generally run pretty warm. So the hottest point is 75 degrees. We sparkies out there, let me know if that's too much. Sorry to bring in halfway on a job, but I'm taking apart the oven because our oven is no longer working or hasn't worked since we've had it, so. I'm taking it apart and finding out what is wrong. Get Lauren cooking some some uh, nice biscuits, biscuits and bread and cookies. Yeah, just so we can eat some and and uh, roast. Would you cook a roast in there? Why roast? Now's probably the best time to do these little weird jobs that that we've got built up. I, I was that that's what I did have planned when we were coming across the top of all those islands to do all these jobs when we got to Lombok, but I just never did. I just ended up being too busy with visas, doing our visas and exploring. It was really rolly last night. It even looks a bit choppy now, but we're front on with the waves. And yeah, last night, Woo! wind was coming in from the north, which is at this anchorage spot that the only time this gets rolly is when it comes in from the north. Next week on Sailing Blue Moon. It's time to prep the boat for a three month mooring in Madana Bay Marina, Lombok. It's hot and sweaty work, but worth it for the next adventure that lay ahead. Three months snowboarding in Japan. These videos are funded by viewers like you. Want to know more about us? Gain exclusive early access to weekly episodes, score some Blue Moon merch, win the chance to come aboard, and support our production? Then check us out on Patreon. And if you're ever wondering where we might be in real time, you can keep up to date on Facebook and Instagram. In addition to the subscribe button, click the bell to the right and you'll be notified of each new weekly episode. Thanks for watching, Blue Moonies!